Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi guys. So, today I got a delivery. I got it late today, so I haven't put them in the car. I haven't looked in the box. But my delivery is finally here and it's the Be Safe Easy Flex Fix, which we have been given by Be Safe to review. So, I had an email from Paul recently where he said when I could expect them and he told me that my colours that I had wanted were not available because apparently there has been so much demand on this car seat so they were a bit short on stock on different colours so I opened it like you do. And by the way, the box came in very good condition. <laughs> and what do I see? First of all, I was told I would be getting them in sea green. Nothing wrong with the colour. But I was extremely surprised and happy. And I'm wondering if Paul was fibbing. Were you? Or, you know, did you actually think they sent the sea green <laughs> so they sent I had requested red and so there's two seats here in one um, in one thing so and as you can see I'll take off the plastic we have a red one at the bottom and here <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's blue. <laughs> it's blue. So I got my red and my blue. Uh, and I, like I said, I was told I was going to get a sea green. So I was very happy with that as well. I mean, it's not like I'm going to complain about six hundred pounds worth of car seats when you have an opportunity like this to work with be safe so i'm very very grateful for this opportunity to try these seats and to test them um but you know you you like certain colors and i was given an option is there anything you would like if it's possible and i said yeah i would like a red and a blue one and and it and then it happened i got my red and my blue one that was really really happy <laughs> So let's uh, this is the first look on the seats as I do the unboxing video as I do as I've done on the other seats. So instructions on the side of the seat. Very easy to read as they should be. These are as you can see easy flex fix eye size. So these are the first eye size high back boosters on the market haven't seen any other companies uh, publicly announce any uh, eye size high back boosters um, uh, not that I don't think they will come because obviously the new regulations state that they will come but so these are until now these are the only ones available so we can see here that eye size is 100 to 135 centimeters and then fix from 135 to 150. So some people might wonder what this means. So what it means is that the eye size regulation is up to 135 centimeters and the fix is up to 150. The recommendation is that you use them until 150 centimeters, but it's not law in all the countries to use them to 150 centimeters it is in ireland but not in the uk not in norway and so forth and also um they can't guarantee that 150 centimeters will fit all cars which is why they have sort of um divided it into two so it's a guaranteed to fit an eye size car up to 135 centimeters 
but they can't guarantee that it will fit up to 150. That has to do with the height uh, and how high the child's, um, how tall uh, the child is uh, in the seat and how close their head is to the top of the ceiling in the car. The roof. Um, so yeah, that's why. Just simple and easy. Looking forward to seeing this. Uh, lots of little things here. This is to carry. So we can up and carry it, which is very good. Um, similar feature to what Recaro has actually, because you can carry their seats as well. Um, they have handles. Um, I haven't read the instructions, by the way. So if I'm wrong right now, when I'm doing all this, bear with me. I will do a complete full review as always. These are the ease fix points. Now, the, uh, a lot of people asked, can it be used in a car without ease fix? For where I said yes, and I was correct. I am most of the time, never wrong. Um, so yes, you can use it without uh, ease of fixed points. So these are then tucked in. We then release it. And I'm also an idiot because that's not the recline. The recline's here. Sorry. <laughs> oh, the recline's here on the side. Um, so yeah, they are de currently tucked away. Now let's take them out of the box and have a look. Okay, so we have raised the headdress to max height. And this one has the lowest height. So we can see there's a bit of a difference. Comes with some components. Um, and the uh, instruction manual. Which very nicely gets put back in here. So keep it there. This is the headrest adjuster. So you just turn this and the headrest goes up and down. Easy to get to while the seat is in the car. Sometimes when it's at the back here it can be a bit fiddly. So they've put it on the side. It's a bit, it goes a bit slower to take it up and down, but it's completely new, so it might loosen a bit. Um, cover is super simple to take off as always. Like you can see here, you just, it just flicks off and then you just, you know. And then... This is where the side panel was. I just took it off and it's very easy. So this goes here like so and then there is a button here that you just push. So you just push that and then you just slowly you just give it a little tug and you just easily slowly get it off. Don't be too violent. Don't want to risk breaking anything. Then it's the extra side impact protection. On and off. Instructions inside. Oops. So on the door side of the vehicle. And when you get it, it comes like this. So you have the chest pad and the extra component. Now, this here, pull, slide, is a fix arms. Side of the seat here. Let's have a look. Here. What did I do now? Um, 
There we go, let's have a look at if we can do this. Oh. Uh, there. That was the recline. <laughs> but yeah, it's like there. Let's have a, a 360 view. Sorry about the mess. I'm packing. Oh, it's very soft and this is also new this is the secure guard in a way so seat belt goes through here button goes on off on it's got a magnet I think yeah it's got a magnet which helps keep the um which helps to keep the lap belt in place in the correct place the belt guards are different on the seat compared to the previous they're down here they're more pronounced this time so you can actually see them um uh, the belt guard up here it's also easy to slide oops, slide the shoulder belt into. You just move that in and out. The shape of the headrest is a bit new. I haven't tried any of the kids in the seat yet. As it came so late. But it will be interesting to see how that works. But it's very nice. It has a nice shape. It does. And it, it feels nice and comfy. So that's okay. So, like we said, it's from it's approved from a hundred centimeters, which is approximately. Four years old but as always I don't recommend booster seats for four-year-olds so my youngest is five and a half and he'll be testing this one and my oldest in the car seat is seven and she'll be testing this one so there's a bit of an age gap there which is good to work with <laughs> but yeah I don't recommend boosters for four-year-olds I recommend unless obviously you don't have a choice but yeah five minimum in my opinion because they have to sit so still just I mean they have the same movement that you do as an adult in the car and I mean you know how much movement you have when you try to move around and grab for something or need something etc and it's a lot of responsibility to put on a four-year-old to sit completely still in a car seat on trips because if they don't sit completely still and if they don't follow the booster loop rules then the seat won't do its job and that can be a very big issue if you ever had an accident so yeah I don't recommend them from age four I recommend them from age five or um, once you've maxed out your rear facing seat, basically. But even when you have maxed out your rear facing seat, I would, it would depend on which one you've maxed out and how old they are. I mean, if they're still four or three and a half or three, you know, and they had an 18 kilogram rear facing seat, then buy a 25 kilogram rear facing seat. Which will mo most likely last them two, three, four years longer. So there are options. You don't need to go directly to a high back booster after the your rear facing seat is maxed out. Depends on what seat you have. Obviously, depends on economy, but you can get rear facing seats to twenty five kilograms for under two hundred quid. So 
um, it is possible. But yeah, so this is my first un impression of the seat in the unboxing. And yeah, like I said, so far I'm really happy with it. These, um, like I took this side off, as I said, but you can take them off on both sides. Which makes the seat even more narrow, because you can see that it adds, how much it adds really on side here. So when you can remove these, it turns really narrow. It's to put it in the middle. So you're not actually losing any side impact protection by putting it in the middle. Because the seats on the side um, work as a side impact protection for this seat in the middle. So you don't lose any, which is good. Um, is there anything else? No, I'm just, I'm really happy. It's going to be fun trying these. Um, so I'm really grateful. Thank you so much, Paul and Be Safe, for giving us this opportunity. So we will be posting a complete review. Um, probably also a video review once I've got it in the car. And uh, as always, a written review will also be on the blog ad in the na near future. We just need to try them a bit first. But yeah, I am very happy. So yeah, here's a comparison. So Isofix out, Isofix in. So you can see the difference here between uh, having these fixed in and out but yeah I am super happy oh hope you're as excited as I am <laughs> and uh, yeah I will see you at Harrogate on Sunday so if you're going don't um, be afraid to get in touch and we can have a coffee um, but yeah, I'll be at the Be Safe stand a lot. Um, and if I'm not there, then I'm somewhere else. Because I know Kosato is going to be there and I'm going to have one to ask them about some stuff as well. And there's some uh, baby bearing things and cloth nappies and everything, you know, other things I'm interested in. So so I'll be pluttering around. But, um, but yeah, I've uh, put some... Um, things uh, on the Facebook page so if you have any questions for Be Safe um, put them below uh, and I will see what I can do since I'm going to be at their stand so I can easily ask their reps um, and then I will uh, see you there I will do some live um, some live Facebook thing uh, while I'm there hopefully as well so we will just have to um, see how that works out and how that goes but um, yeah don't forget to uh, take a look at our blog and don't forget to see the newest recall of Carl Saints because there was just a recall as well so I will see you later this is uh, ERF Mama out <laughs> Thank you so much again and I will talk to you guys soon. Ciao!